Hey folks, this is an update here real quick about this lack of ventilation system here in this fucked up CSD SAC short term housing unit, STRH. For eight weeks we've been dealing with no air at all in our cells. The last seven days outside has been over 100, 102, 104 degrees outside. So you know, in a box within a box and no air at all, it's like being in a double oven. They're supposed to give out ice when it's like that and they don't, they don't do shit. You know, uh, it's, it's really disgusting, man. And with lack of airflow at all, I mean, we got solid doors. We're in concrete, we're in a concrete tomb. Well, when we go up to the front of the building, where all the offices are, for six weeks it was ice cold, triple the AC, and our shit didn't work at all. You know, we have a couple of psych tech people who told us that the second watch uh, staff is doing it intentionally, and a few officers confirmed that as well. Sergeant Boyd on 6615, confirmed in my cell that I have zero air coming into my cell at all. On Tuesday, it kind of got fixed and we were getting a third of what we usually get. And it was like that Tuesday, Wednesday, and then today, last night it went off and it's been off and it's still off. We've been dealing with no air at all. This shit has to change. We are suffering. We've been dealing with no air at all. This shit has to change. We are suffering. We've been dealing with no air at all. This shit has to change. We are suffering. We've been dealing with no air at all. We are suffering. We are suffering. We've been dealing with no air at all. We are suffering. No air at all. You know, try to try going to your bathroom with no windows or nothing. You plug up the bottom of your door with no air or nothing. And stay there 24/7. Tell me how you feel later. That's it, it, it. Matter of fact, turn your bathtub on where it's hot water. That's that's the equivalent of being in a cell with a box within a box at 104 degrees outside. We are suffering.